Okay, uh, this is Brainsplode here for the Superfuture Everyday Carry Thread. Um, basically, this will be a short, uh, I don't know, review, I guess, of um, the Phoenix LD01 stainless steel. Um, it's not so much a review as it is uh, an overview of how this um, UI works. It's pretty popular with the Phoenix Twisties. And uh, basically how it works is, well, um, for Phoenix specifically, it's the mode sequence is medium brightness, low brightness, then max brightness. And um, I could be mistaken, but I think it's advertised, I think 27 lumens to 10 lumens to 80 lumens, but Phoenix rates their, um, their lights uh, brightness at the emitter and not... Um, what's called out the front lumens which means um, they sort of overrate its brightness and in actuality what you see coming out of the flashlight is um, a percentage smaller than that uh, due to light lost from um, st stuff like heat, um, the reflector, um, the lens, and like optics like that. Uh, so to get right into it, um, basically Phoenix starts uh, medium, low, high, like I said. Uh, other models like the um, upcoming uh, 4.7's Prion and the Mini Quark, which both look very impressive, um, they come on low, medium, high. So the way it works um, generally is you twist on once um, for medium, twist off, and then uh, quickly twist back on for low, um, twist off, and twist back on for high. So. Um, pretty obvious there. Oh, I should note that um, the brightness for this it's probably like this is probably this is medium so this is I I don't know I wouldn't really say 30 lumens probably a little bit less um, and they're low which they advertise as 10 lumens seems a little little bright I would say it's maybe like I don't know, 15, it's it's sort of hard to tell, but um, they're bright, uh, they're, they're max, which is claimed, uh, advertised at 80, it's probably more like 50, um, but yeah, you can, it can light up a room decently well behind me from a ceiling bounce, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, they're... Uh, what I like about this UI, um, as opposed to the Nightcore that I have, um, I have the Easy CR2. Uh, basically, for the Easy CR2, you twist it on um, to get it to low, and then you keep twisting until you can get it to the high mode. And then to turn it off, you have to keep twisting back into low, then back into off. Um, sometimes that takes a little too long for my liking, um, and I don't know, uh, there's, with the Phoenix, the way the UI works, you can, like, with a certain amount of thread play, you can get, like, momentary on, see it like this. I'm just holding it um, in an ice pick grip, and I'm pressing down on the tail cap while using my pinky to keep the head in place. Um, this isn't really recommended, but it is, like, an easy way to get momentary out of a twisty. <coughs> but, um... The thing about this light in particular that I don't really like is I don't know if uh, my my threads are dirty or or not properly lubed, but it seems like the knurling on this is insufficient. If you look at it, there is like no knurling on the body, and the knurling on the head is not that um, grippy at all. Doesn't provide enough friction. It like to to get it on to twist it on and keep it on or twist it off one-handed is um, pretty tricky for me. Um, but it wasn't like that on the Nightcore Easy series, so I like I liked um, how easy it was to use that. Uh, the upcoming uh, Cork Mini, I think, um, will sort of combine the two aspects that I like about um, the, uh, the lights I had from Phoenix and Nightcore. Um, it looks like a really impressive light, so yeah, that's just a quick overview of how this works. Um, 
it might not be for everyone, but it's definitely not a pain in the ass to switch modes. Um, I think it's more inconvenient to twist on and then keep twisting when you want to get to high, um, whereas it would be like quick successive um, twists on and off to get to high on uh, the new 4.7's uh, twisties. So that's basically what I was trying to show. Um, yeah, uh, stay tuned later on because I will be most likely doing uh, an EDC update for everyone to see. So thanks for watching.